I feel like everybody's got a book or a YouTube video or a program or a webinar about how to buy real estate with no money down. Josh from San Diego, California. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that for real. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me. And then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. That man behind the scenes cutting up the footage is my main amigo, Tommy. And today, folks, we are talking about no money down real estate or the closest you can get to it. The video is for my client, Josh. Josh is a contractor from San Diego, California. And what you've done so far, Josh, you have managed to save up $90,000, but you told me that, uh, you know, working in such a physically demanding job like general contracting, I mean, that's a tough, it's a rough life, right? That's, that's a tough job, knees, back, all of it. It's tough, man. Uh, you want to eventually get out of the physical labor side of that, which, again, man, I, I totally understand. There, there was a time back in the day when uh, Jay Wise was in there um, doing some physical labor in some of our properties uh, way at the beginning. Uh, luckily, I don't have to do that anymore, which is nice uh, for two reasons. Number one, I get to do stuff like this, videos, talk to you guys, which I enjoy a lot more. Number two, I wasn't really very good at it. I know if anybody talks to uh, my partner, John Holton, he'll be the first one to tell you guys that uh, JY's on a job site isn't necessarily uh, benefiting anybody. So aces in their places, right? So long story short, though, Josh, I get it, man. You want to get out of that rat race. You want to get out of doing that uh, physical stuff. You want to put your money to work for you, and I believe I can help you do that. Now, you are very interested in the Burr strategy. For anybody else who's uh, not familiar with what the Burr strategy is, that stands for buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. B R R R R. Burr, okay? So what we want to do, we want to find a property that is not in very good condition, right? We're looking for equity here, guys. Now, you know, I said at the top of the show, right? Everybody's got like a book or a YouTube video, a webinar program, buy more money, no money down real estate, get, get rich in real estate, you don't need to have any money, blah, 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 blah. Today, you know, Josh, I'm going to show you how you can get in and out of these deals with a very little amount of money. Is it going to be no money? No, absolutely not. You're going to need to use money. And the fact that you have $90,000 in cash is the only reason you're going to be able to do these deals with very little money at the end of it because you're going to burr them out. You're going to refinance that money back out to try to go in and accomplish what we're going to accomplish today without $90,000 in your pocket to start with, guys. Unfortunately, uh, that's not possible, right? So there's a lot of people blowing a lot of smoke when they talk about that no money down real estate. So that's what I, you know, I said at the beginning of the show. We are going to show you how to do it for real. So with that, we're going to get into the two properties that are very much real, very real properties. Josh, these are active properties on the market in Cleveland, and I am going to analyze them and give you the opportunity to buy them. Now, the first one I just pulled up on the screen for everybody, 3210 Snow Road, Parma, Ohio, 44134. List price, $78,900. This bad boy was listed by a company called... Russell Real Estate Services. Let's take a look at the photos, see what we got to work with. Okay. Dated kitchen, right? You know, it's it's not the greatest, it's not the worst, but it's it's not ideal. We're going to have to do some work to it, right? This this is looking old, this is looking rough, this is looking tired, right? Just nothing special, like nothing that uh is really going to wow anybody, okay? 
just like a little eh, mundane little property here, right? We got some dated, dated looking bathroom, nothing fancy. Okay, hot water tank, that's probably in pretty good shape. I don't need to tell you that though, Josh, you, you understand that. All right, this property, $78,900. That is incredibly key. That is more or less one of the cheapest properties in the city of Parma. If you were to buy this thing, what we would want to do is we would want to eventually get a tenant in there. My opinion, we put a Section 8 tenant in there. I think it makes sense. Now, usually when I'm talking to folks about Section 8, we definitely do Section 8 in the lower class neighborhoods, right? Like, you know, a lot of stuff in the C. C's cool. We go cash, but we also do Section 8 because you get higher rents usually. And it's government guaranteed. Definitely in the D. And if you're in the F neighborhoods, you absolutely need to get yourself Section 8 tenants. Now, Parma, this is a nice, solid B-class neighborhood. Uh, in your emails to me, Josh, that was the other thing. You really wanted to stick to the nicer neighborhoods, get the nicer assets, which is very important if you're going to do the bird deals, guys. It's incredibly hard to do bird deals uh, when you're working with like the rougher neighborhoods because you're capped right at the purchase price. Now, here's the thing with Parma. The comps that we're going to look at uh, here shortly... The comps in, a, in an area like Parma, which is dominated by owner-occupants, they're not going to be necessarily derived by uh, rental pricing like you see in C, D, and F class neighborhoods. So we're going to be able to get the property to appraise higher than would make sense uh, as a rental investment. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, you know, there's properties in Parma that are selling for like 145000 But those properties would still only rent to like cash paying tenants for like 900 or or 1000 or maybe $1,176 uh, if we're on a Section 8 voucher, right? That's all they would rent for. So if you're going to pay like 145 to get 1176 in rent, it doesn't really pan out is a really good rental investment to just go in up front to do that. But it helps us out a lot when we're trying to burr out because we could end up with teeny, 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 tiny amounts of money into these deals because the neighborhood values are going to bring the value of your property so much higher after we put in that renovation. And I just like doing the Section 8 tenant because once we do that that refi, you're going to be pulling out a bigger mortgage than normal. Um, so to maintain some solid cash flow, we really got to do anything we can to get the highest amount of rent. So that's the idea behind why I want to go Section 8 with this. So we can max out the rental rate, right? Advertise it to the most amount of tenants. And we're going to provide them a really, really, really nice house because we're about to do about a $25,000 renovation. So the goal with this property, rent it, $1,176 a month or $14,112 a year. The goal here, it's listed at $78,900. I want to have you pick this up for $70,000, right? A discount of $8,900. It's kind of, you know, it's it's kind of ugly and it's on a main road, right? That will decrease uh, desirability to owner occupants a little bit. Another reason it's nice to go with the Section 8 because the Section 8 tenants, we're going to provide them such a nice home on the inside. I don't think they're going to mind. Let me show you what I'm talking about when I say it's on a main road. It's not like a commercial district or anything, but uh, it is, you know, on a, you know, a four lane road, right? This is the home right here. You also get the additional yard right here. So all the stuff around it, you do have housing around it, a lot of duplexes, um, but it is a main road, right? So that is going to deter, uh, <clears throat> that would deter people, owner occupants from buying it, which is why I think you could come in and pick this up for a low price, $70,000. That's the thing you have to understand about with bird deals, Josh. If you want to do bird deals, I, I don't want you to think that you could just come out to Cleveland because, yeah, Cleveland, man, we're way cheaper than San Diego. But don't think that you could just come out to Cleveland and there's like all these bird deals where you get to just slap down your cash, do a simple rental, and then pull all of it back out. You got to work for these deals. We have to do some work. And I'm going to show you how to pull the majority of your cash out here, but it's still not going to be a no money down deal it's going to be a very very low money down deal but we got to do some work and we might make some swings and we might get some misses we might get outbid on some of these but that's the nature of the game when you're fighting to, to try to find that equity it's not like you know here in cleveland we just have all these houses like growing on trees with all this equity for investors to buy guys we have to put in work if we're going to do a bird deal right 
So with this one, we got to work it. We got to try to get it to $70,000. But again, you have the ability to pay cash. That's awesome. The house, it's kind of, it's not that great. It's a little ugly. It's a little dated. It's nothing fancy. Owner occupants aren't going to like it. That's good. And then the third thing, boom, it's on a main road. So a lot of owner occupants, that is undesirable. Okay. So that's our goal. And then for the renovation to spruce this thing up, you know, paint, carpet, floors. I don't know the age of the furnace. You know, we may have to factor in something like that. We got to check out the roof. I'm just overall guesstimating about $25,000 is where we're going to need to put this thing in a good position to appraise for a high price. So entry price, 70000 Reno price, $25,000. we are all into the investment for $95,000. And now our goal, Josh, our goal would be to get this thing to appraise for $115,000, which in my opinion is very doable. Here are the comps. Now remember earlier, I told you, bro, the neighborhood, because it's, uh, you know, Owner occupants are who primarily live around this area. They're driving that price up. So you're going to see higher prices, okay? Now, <clears throat> quarter mile comps over the last six months. When I want to do comps, that's what I do. Nice urban area like this. I do quarter mile over the last six months. We've had eight properties sell, okay? And this is, by the way, our property, it's, you saw it on the screen, but this is a 3-1. So all these other properties, they're all three bedrooms. Some have two baths, some have one. Um, but, you know, we're very similar, right? Now, here are the prices. 110000 114, 115, 129.9, 132.5, 135, 146, and 155. Thousand dollars. So those are the comps that we are working with. I wanted to be conservative for you because remember, uh, I told you it's on a main road, which is why I think you could maybe pick it up for seventy because that's gonna, you know, it's not gonna appeal to that many buyers. But on the flip side, it's still a double-edged sword. When you go to reappraise it later, that's also still gonna be a negative. You can't move the damn house. So I wanted to give you a target. Uh, refi amount on the very low end, right? $115,000. There's only two of our eight comps that are cheaper than that, and that's at 110 and 114. So we got a lot that are way higher than the number I've given you, which I think is only fair to do. So we got 129, 132, 135, 146, 155. Don't look at the highest comp and think you can go in like, oh, I'll spruce this thing up, buy it for 70, put 25 into it, and now I'll get it to a price for 155 because another house went for 155. No, man, that's, that's not realistic, right? We still got to realize what we have here. So 115, okay? Now, if we get it to a price for 115, we would be all in for $95,000, right? Because you bought it for 70, renovated it, put 25 into it, got it to appraise for 115. That would mean the bank would lend you $86,250. So you're only put up 95,000. The bank's going to lend you 86,250 if it appraised for 115 because they still want 25% in the deal, which would be the $28,750, right? If you did that, that'd give you a mortgage of 437, which would give you a net cash flow after all of our operating expenses of $162 a month. So that would be a 22.2% return on your money because at the end of the day, you're only into the deal for $8,750 after you do that refinance. After you pay for all of your expenses, your normal operating expenses, you should clear close to $2,000 at the end of the year. And since you have so little money into the deal, it's a 22.2% cash on cash return. If you want to know how I got um, the net cash flow after mortgage of 162. Let's go through those numbers quickly. The rent, 1,176. Repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, CapEx. We got to account for all that. So we're going to save 58 bucks a month. Put that in our pocket. Even if we're not spending that this month, we're not going to consider that our return because we know that stuff's going to happen. Tenants don't stay forever. Eventually, you're going to have turnovers. So you got to ca ca calculate all that. Taxes, 148 a month. Insurance, 80 bucks a month. 
By the way, Josh, not only can we help you purchase this asset, handle these renovations, we can also do the insurance for you and anybody else who's watching. We only do top to bottom turnkey in Cleveland, but we do insurance nationwide. So in the show notes below, click on the notes for the Hogue Insurance Agency. That is an insurance agency that I am a partner of. My associate, Kevin, he will give you a quote. It should come out to roughly 80 bucks a month for this property. Anybody else who wants to lower their insurance, check them out too. That's all we do with that insurance company company we just try to lower your premium because you guys are all investors man i know what you guys want you guys want the roi to go up and that means the premium has got to go down baby so for investors by investors guys check out us uh, our insurance quotes in the show notes below uh lawn care you don't have to pay for lawn care here because it's a single family home your tenant's going to handle that uh water sewer that's going to be approximately 75 bucks a month and then the pm pretty cool thing about what we do here at Holton Wise is we charge 10% for PM fees, but we cap it at 100 bucks a month. So on the lower end stuff, it's 10%, but once you get to like higher, nicer rents, it actually goes a little bit below 10%, which is nice. So of that 1,176, you should expect on average to spend 577 a month operating the property, which leaves you with an NOI of 599, which going into the other chart again where i showed you your cash on cash return that's where we got the 599 that we deducted that 437 for the mortgage which is how you got your net cash flow after the mortgage payment of 162 or 1944 for the year which gives you that 22.2 percent uh cash on cash return and remember you're only into that now at this point for 8750 bucks. So Josh, that's how you get out of the rat race, brother. You got 90 Gs, okay? After you do this deal, you got over 80 of it left and you're making 22.2% on the small amount you left into this deal. You got yourself a nice stable asset. And I didn't even account for principal pay down either, man. Like of that 437 mortgage payment, don't forget, a lot of that is going right back in your pocket in the form of equity pay down. So you have that, plus you got tax advantages. Now, let's go to a word from the sponsor of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the second property, which is going to have you using even less money. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Two, please. Welcome back, Josh. Now, the second property, like I said, this property is actually going to require you to use less money at the end of the day, but you are going to have to use more money up front, and the purchase price is actually going to be higher. 5594 West 24th, Parma, Ohio, 44134. This one is listed, uh, who was this listed by? I believe it was Transaction Realty. And this was listed at $89,900. Okay, now this is a more traditional home you're going to see in Parma. We got a ton of bungalows. We got a ton of ranches like this. And this isn't on a main road. So this is like much more traditional of what you're going to see. And this is a 3-2 instead of a 3-1, which is nice. That's going to help our appraised value quite a bit. Because I'm anticipating that this one, we're going to get this one to actually appraise for $130,000. I believe we'll get this one to appraise for fifteen thousand dollars more than the previous property now nice brick okay that's also going to help us here and it's a much newer property than the other one 
Okay, so all of these are reasons that I think this will appraise for even higher than the previous property. Now, currently, it's got a tenant in there. It already has a tenant living there. As you can see, it does not show well. It's, you know, it's rough. Like this kitchen, man, this is just a... This is an ugly day to kitchen. We're missing cabinets. The tenants got shit all over the property. Uh, just dated, you know, dated bathroom, right? And just, you know, it's it's not going to excite home buyers. And that is awesome for you because we are going to utilize a lot of the stuff that's going on with this property to your benefit. Now, here is the cool thing about uh, this particular property. Listed at 89900 the particular realtor that they hired doesn't even make any mention of the rental amount. They just said that there's a long-term tenant in there who may or may not consider uh, staying when the new owner buys it. So this, my friend, is awesome. This is gold for you. This is why people pay me to do these analysis for them, these shows for them. This is why investors pay me uh, to handle their real estate deals out here in Cleveland. I am the number one seller of rental properties. When I look at properties like this, I don't see a house uh, for myself to live like a lot of realtors do. I don't see my clients living there. I see a business. I see opportunity. And all of this stuff, this is great. We got a house that does not show well, right? There's a tenant in there. Just based on the fact that there's a tenant in there already, that's going to eliminate a ton of home buyers, right? Owner occupied home buyers are who is looking at properties in Parma. A lot of them are just going to be eliminated because it's a pain in the ass just trying to deal with this tenant. So a lot of them are already gone. Secondly, it looks like shit in there. The property is totally dated. The tenant's crap is everywhere. So of the owner-occupied buyers that are still around, that alone is enough to push those folks out. And then, of course, you got the folks who are just dealing with the listing agent, talking to the listing agent. This listing agent clearly isn't versed in dealing with rental property ownership because the most important thing that you'd want to discuss when dealing with investors is the rental amount, which uh, isn't even mentioned. So it shows me that this agent is trying to sell this exactly like uh, he would probably sell any other home that owner occupants are going to live there, which is great. You know, he's probably a really good residential agent. I don't want to talk bad about him. I'm not trying to talk bad about him. That's what 99.9% .9 of the realtors out here do. They see these homes, they see them as that homes, homes for families. They don't see them as businesses like I do. But of course, that's why you got the video. Now with this one, same as the previous property, I want to go with the Section 8 uh, tenant just so we could increase those rents to keep up with the big old mortgage we're going to want to get so you can pull all that money out and put it towards other investments. So $1,176 a month is what we'll bring in. $14,102 a year. And by the way, if you're wondering, Josh, where I am getting that $1,176, let me show you how I got that. A lot of property managers, they don't like to deal with the Section 8 program because, dude, it is a pain in the ass. But that's not us here at Holton Wise. We will deal with that pain in the ass for you. It's such a pain in the ass dealing with Section 8, the actual company, not the tenants, the actual housing authority out here. It's called CMHA that runs the Section 8 program. There's just like a ton of red tape, and it's just like a, just a whole nightmare. So because of that, if you go to HoltonWise.com, you click our FAC, you go for our property management FAC, and then up top right under that, we got a tab for the Section 8 FAC. We have put together an entire FAC for you guys. Take a look at all that. All that is just answering your questions on how the Section 8 program works. So we've put together this whole fact for you guys. And, you know, how they actually come up with the rental amount, it's not exactly a science. You know, it's they give you a rental offer, and you'll have to review our entire fact where we try to explain the process to you. Uh, I don't want to burn up time in the video doing that because it's like a whole mess. But the moral of the story is 1176 is what they consider to be a fair market rent for a home like this now it could come in the rental offer that they actually give us in reality it could come in a little bit higher could come in a little bit lower uh, i think that's a very fair estimate i think we'll come very close to that but the thing is when dealing with cmha and section 8 if you ask five employees a question you're probably going to get five different answers you might have a property that they'll give you a rental offer of one rate one time in the very same property in the very same condition could come up with a different rental rate based on who inspected it. That's just the nature of the beast. Like I said earlier, 
we're going to have to do some work. We're going to have to put up with some stuff uh, to try to really force, you know, force these deals to get this real equity. We don't just have bird deals, you know, lying on the trees. We got to do some, or growing on the trees, rather. We got to do some work to get these. So these are the pitfalls. But luckily, Holton Wise, we will walk through that with you. We will do all that work for you. We know how to operate the Section 8 program. So that's why I want to go with Section 8. On top of that, too, Josh, just one more thing, man. Whenever you go in Section 8, that's going to reduce the amount of evictions you got to do, which I don't necessarily think is like a huge risk factor given we're in such a nice neighborhood like Parma. Now, if you were going into the lower, you know, lower income stuff like low C, D, F class neighborhoods, you're definitely evicting a ton of people. So you got to go Section 8 just to cover your ass. Uh, you know, there is a lot of landlords out there that they're making a killing just doing Section 8 in super low income areas. And hey man more power to them if you guys are out there and you think that's you you want to do that and you want me to analyze some properties you know go to holdenwise.com click the property search uh, for sale tab and get yourself an episode of the mls search and analysis show and while you're there why don't you grab yourself a uh i love eviction shirt from holton wise because you know if you're doing low income stuff evictions are going to come your way unless of course you go with the section 8 program but enough uh, about that, Josh. Back to your particular property, right? I want you to pick this up for eighty grand. Now, it's, let's say eighty nine nine, but for the reasons I mentioned before, I believe we can probably get it for approximately eighty grand. And then, you know, again, we got to come in, do a nice renovation, get things done, you know, update kitchens, update baths, floors, walls, make everything look good. I don't even care about that tenant. I don't even care what that tenant's rent is. Normally, I tell you guys uh, you don't want to create artificial turnover. Uh, just let the tenant ride out. But for you, I don't necessarily think that's the move because you can't get this thing to appraise for 130000 like it is. If you bought it for eighty in cash and then you tried to do a refinance two months later and you didn't do anything and got the same tenant in there, well, they're just going to use your purchase price, and they're probably going to appraise it for about 80 So that's not going to do you any good. So in, in this particular situation, what we'd want to do is we'd probably want to remove the tenant sooner rather than later, do that $25,000 reno. That would put us all into the investment at 105000 and then it's Section 8 rent ready. We get a Section 8 tenant in there. Just going through the numbers quick to see what that would look like. You know, more or less, it's a similar property in a similar neighborhood. So all of the expenses you see uh, are very, very similar to the estimates I gave you for the previous property. The taxes are going to be different because this property has a different um, property tax amount on it than the other one. But more or less, they're very, very similar. I anticipate at the end of the day, your average NOI should be 518 a month or 6216 a year. Then, of course, we're going to want to do that refi. So if you bought it for 80, you put 25 into it. You're all in for 105,000. Now, I know you said you had $90,000 to play with. So I know this is a little bit higher than what you had, but it's only 15K. So I am hoping uh, that you'll be able to figure out some way to grab yourself that extra 15K. Because if you can, we could do some damage, man. If you get it to appraise for $130,000, which I don't see why it wouldn't, uh, after we do a nice solid renovation, your mortgage amount would be $97,500. That means they're going to give you back. The bank's going to give you back $97,500 of the one hundred five you put into this bad boy. So even though this property is more expensive than the previous property, because the neighborhood uh, is nice and all of the owner-occupied properties around the neighborhood are pulling the values up and we are in a more traditional home. It's brick. It's not on a main road and it is newer than the previous home. I believe we'll be able to get it to appraise for that 130. So they're going to give you back 97,500 and you're only into the deal for 7,500, man. It's a better property, a more expensive property, but you end up into it for less money out of your pockets. So you'll only be in for 7,500. But just so you know, because that mortgage is a little bit higher, uh, doing the numbers like this, your net cash flow, it's only going to average around 24 bucks a month or 288 a year. So that'd only be a 3.8% uh, cash on cash return from a cash flow perspective. But I don't, I don't think that's the big deal. I think the big deal here is you get a really, really nice asset for next to nothing, dude. If you did this deal, 
I mean, you got like almost what do you got? Almost eighty three thousand dollars of your ninety grand left uh, to go do the other deals, and then you got yourself a solid renovated property. As far as the comps, just let me show you those. Uh, so we do have some stuff that's lower than this, like in the area, so 78, 80, 81 and a half, 87. But if you go down here, we got a ton of stuff that's higher, right? 155, 149.9, 144.9, 131, 130, and then we got a few, 126, 124, 122. So being objective, I think 130 is a totally fair place for this particular property to appraise at. So, Josh, those are the two Burr options you have available. Yes, it's not no money down, but, hey, man, this is, this is what this show's all about. This show's all about transparency and teaching you guys exactly how this stuff works for real. A lot of the stuff you're going to see out there, folks, a lot of the books or the programs, you know, if you look at the people selling those, the only way they monetize that information is by selling you the information. Whereas with this particular show... I'm talking to you about how to do a deal with no money down, but I'm actually showing you a real deal. These are real properties, real properties you can buy. I have real people on my team who are really living here in this market, and we can really make something very similar to this happen for you using these exact properties. So this is no fluff. And uh, folks, just to set proper expectations, if you think that there is going to be a way you can get better bird deals going halfway across the country uh, than what I've presented here with like similar risk factors and asset quality, uh, you need to set your expectations. You might have expectations that are a little bit too high in the sky. You might be buying into too many of those programs or webinars or books out there talking about this no money down stuff. If, if somebody's like presenting all of that fluff, I want you to look into their business and I want you to see if they're able to, to work their business in a way that monetizes a real transaction like that occurring, not just monetize you buying the information information that they are selling that folks is all i've got for you here today josh if you want to buy one or both of these properties you can go directly to those listing agents or if you want my team we will handle the negotiations for you i think that's very important because i think we have two situations here where the listing agent is not necessarily versed in treating these homes like investment homes. So I think you really need our take. We'll also be able to refer you to home inspectors because even though you did this analysis, of course, this is just information I have from viewing this from this desktop, right? We need to have a licensed home inspector get into that property and show you every single thing that is specifically wrong with that property. You know, running a portfolio as big as I do, I think my rental budgets are probably fairly close to what it'll be. And being that you're a contractor yourself, I think you could kind of take a look at these photos and, and see that I'm pretty much right there. But of course, there might be some slight deviations where we might find out new information after that inspection comes out. But that's why we do the inspection before you take your 90K and just spend it halfway across the country, right? We got to do our due diligence first. And uh, you know, if these particular deals don't work out, hey, man, there's 5,000 other realtors in this market. There's going to be more deals. Um, get yourself another analysis, and we'll find you another two. We'll hit the drawing board again. Like I said, you're trying to do bird deals here. They're not growing on trees. Don't think that there's just a million. If you're really trying to get the ability to make this kind of return on your money, get into assets this cheaply have this little money down we're going to have to do some work so again if you want my team to represent you for that we can sales at holtonwise.com that's all i've got for you as always i'm james wise with holton wise and this is real estate investing made easy the price i mean this is actually a really nice house a little bit more rough a little more ragged it's gonna keep those values high here's quarter mile comps there's two hundred sixty thousand dollars houses right down the street you'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close holding wise we can handle the property management we'll even be able to help you with the insurance we have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states this deal is 100 percent james wise approved james wise denied Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution 
for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10 year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.